One of the first things visitors to Fort Dobbs notice about the building's interior is the fact that the timber walls are white. This isn't modern paint picked up from the hardware store, but rather a mixture known as whitewash. Whitewash is one of the oldest forms of structural paint, with use documented at least as far back as ancient Mesopotamia. The key ingredient in whitewash is lime, which is produced by a series of chemical reactions. First, limestone or oyster shells, both of which contain calcium carbonate, are burned to remove impurities, carbon, and water. The result is calcium oxide, or what is commonly known as quicklime. Both Governor Arthur Dobbs and the Moravians at Bethabara mentioned burning shells for lime in the 1750s and 60s. Quicklime must be slaked before it can be used. Water mixed with quicklime prompts an exothermic reaction, which produces a substance known as calcium hydroxide. The resulting putty is then left to age for a period of several weeks. During the aging, the individual particles of lime decrease in size until the putty is sieved through a screen to remove any final grit. The fine slaked lime is now ready to be diluted in water to create whitewash. The whitewash had several benefits for an 18th century structure. It would serve to reflect light in a room, creating a well-lit space without the need for dozens of candles. The lime-rich wash also had antibacterial properties, which would inhibit mold and mildew from growing on a timber wall. When the reconstruction of Fort Dobbs was finished in the summer of 2019, volunteers and staff spent hours whitewashing the interior of the structure by hand, resulting in an appearance and atmosphere in the rooms much as they would have had 260 years ago. A minor but important detail in our mission to bring North Carolina's French and Indian War history back to life. Mm -hmm.